A new kind of fever thermometer will be on the market later this year. It's called a temporal artery thermometer designed to measure blood temperature at the forehead. It's said to be more accurate than traditional devices. The temporal thermometer has been tested by nurses and doctors at Children's Hospital in Boston. David Greenis, a pediatrician, was one of the evaluators. It's about the size of a cell phone. It's a device that can fit easily in your hand. You just touch it to the child's forehead and then sweep it along the forehead towards the side of the temple, towards the hairline. The moment that you're done with that, it will give you a temperature reading. Gives you a digital reading? Yes. And, and, and why is it thought to be more accurate? What's going on uh, with the forehead there? What the thermometer does is it has a what's called a thermistor, a unit that is measuring the temperature instantaneously as it's sweeping along the forehead. So over the one or two seconds that you sweep it on a child's forehead, it probably measures the temperature several hundred times. The highest temperature that it finds along its path is the temperature at the temporal artery, which is an artery very close to the skin, uh, right along the side of your head, right, right in the region of the temple. The temperature in that artery is generally believed to be a good reflection of your core body temperature, the temperature at the level of your heart. It leads directly to the heart? Yes, it's arterial blood, so it's blood that was pumped from the heart you know, just a second ago, and, and so it hasn't had much chance to warm or cool since it left to the center of the body. It's strange about this. This is the, the current state-of-the-art technology, and it's very similar to what your mother or your grandmother would do with the palm against the forehead. <laughs> That's correct. Actually, people have studied how accurate mothers are with their hands, and they've actually found that they're reasonably accurate as well. They detect most cases of fever, although they certainly miss some. A popular thermometer now being used uh, in hospitals and in homes is the tympanic thermometer, which goes into the ear canal, that battery-powered. Is this forehead thermometer much more accurate than that? Yes, it, it appears to be so. We measured the temperature with, with each of those two thermometers on children and compared the reading to the rectal temperature, which is generally considered the standard. Essentially, we found that by every measure that we used, the temporal artery thermometer was more accurate than the tympanic. And what about under the arm or under the tongue? The under the tongue method is probably the one that's most commonly used by patients and their families for older children and for adults. And I think if done carefully, if you leave the thermometer in for several minutes, it can be reasonably accurate. Um, and similarly with the under the arm method, under ideal circumstances, it, it, it can be okay, but, but you have to be very careful. So I think for routine measurements, we don't find either the oral or the under the arm method to be so reliable. And for what patients would the temporal artery thermometer be recommended? In other words, who should have it? In general, infants in the first couple of months and even in the first couple of years, we, we like to know their temperatures. And, and that's because young infants don't have a very mature immune system. They're, they're not as good at fighting infection. So even a lower fever might mean something serious is going on. Dr. Greenis, thank you for talking with us. All right, thank you. David Greenis of Children's Hospital, Harvard Medical School. To help in testing the new thermometer, the hospital received a grant from its makers, the Exergen Company.